Hey guys, here's a quick update on what I've been up to in the last few months. I started working on the Morgan Freeman drawing again after half a year break. And sadly, I ended up destroying it right in here. It may not look like it, but the texture of the paper in here is completely flattened. To the point it won't accept any more layers. No matter how hard I try, it will not accept anything. Can you kind of see that? And because of that, I'm unable to get the area any smoother than it is. See, the thing is, usually when I destroy a drawing, it's usually because I'm experimenting or trying something new or I'm rushing. But this time, the destruction of the drawing was purely by accident. I know that may seem odd. It's been years since I've destroyed a drawing by pure accident. Because what I usually do is go in there and I experiment with a different layering method or a different approach. And I'm like, okay, this may go wrong. This may destroy it. But this time, I was not expecting it to go so south. This area here is quite nice, but all the texture of the paper is absolutely eviscerated. It took everything I had just to get it to this level. It will not take any more layers. You can see a little white spot there and there. That's supposed to be dark and it's supposed to go out smooth gradient out to create that contour. So I've spent the last few weeks trying to use every single trick I had to fix it. But unfortunately, everything I tried just made it worse. So if you want to take something away from this video, if you ever find yourself destroying your drawings or wanting to give up, just remember that Niello was meant to be somewhat good at this, and yet he still ended up destroying a drawing that had over probably a hundred hours worth of work into it. So going forward, we have three options. I ignore it and keep going, or I could restart the drawing again from the start which I'm kind of leaning a bit towards. Or I could finally restart a whole new drawing. And finally, a bit of information for you guys. How the hell did I end up destroying the texture of the paper when it's one of my golden rules? I say it in quite a lot of my videos. What I did is because it's been a year and a half since I worked on this area, and I finally came back a year and a half later to do this. Oh my God, I hate myself right now. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I hadn't worked on this drawing for a year and a half. And so when I started on this area, I forgot a lot of the tricks and processes that I learned doing this area. So when I came over here, a lot of that had disappeared. But that's okay. That, that, that itself didn't destroy this drawing. What destroyed it is I forgot that when you're drawing, you need to use an incredible light pressure what I should have done is I come in there and I press very gently very and slowly build it up what I did is I put pressure and filled in the area I still didn't realize I was doing it that's a problem that's what really shocked me is I didn't realize I was pressing too hard until it was too late so yeah, I can make huge mistakes. I know there's people looking at this going, eh, it's not that bad, dude, just get over it and move on. But um, there's a big difference between how it perceived through the camera versus how it reacts to the layering of the pencil. You can't physically see that the tooth of the paper is flattened. It's hard, but it is. I could not add any more layers here if I wanted to. See the oranges and the reds in there? It's supposed to have oranges and reds through that, as well as pink. So the colors are off. And I could just ignore it and just move on and do the rest. That's no big problem. But I want to challenge myself to redo this whole entire area again, at least. So I know that I can do it. Here's the reference versus what it's supposed to look like. Doing ears, they're notoriously difficult. Nose, ears, and eyes, they're very difficult. There's so many contours that you have to work with and create. It's very easy to make mistakes. I'm so annoyed that I put that line there. Anyone, you can kind of see in here, there's a bit of reddy, orange, sort of like blood. 
versus here it's more browny, dark brown, black. That earring there is supposed to be more gold. Over here it's not that gold. In here it's supposed to need needs more pink. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something from my stupidity. And just remember, depending on your method and the pencils you're using, use a light touch. Make sure you keep the texture of your paper intact as long as you possibly can. The more you have texture, the more you can do. The less of it, the less you can do. Anyway, um, I'll be uploading more soon. And yeah, I'm going to go cry. No. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.